Here are seven key changes to the formatting of tables in APA 7th edition. For each change, I will show you how it looked in the 6th edition and then the new look in the 7th edition. The first change is to the table number. In APA 6, the table number was in the same font and size as the rest of the paper. In the 7th edition, you will change the word table and the number to bold font. The second change is the column spanner. In the 6th edition, you see we have two groups, mean east and mean west. There is a space in the line between them. In APA 7, the line goes all the way across with no space. The third change is the stub header. The stub header appears in the top hand left corner. In APA 6, the stub header is down here. In APA 7, the vertical orientation changes. It is at the top of the cell. The fourth change is in specific notes. The subscript letter for the note followed directly after the content of the cell with no space. And below in the note, there was no space between the subscript letter and the note. In APA 7, there is now a space between the content and the superscript letter. There is also a space in the notes between the superscript letter and the note. Are you having fun yet? The fifth change is double line spacing. In APA 6, the table title and the notes generally have very little spacing between them. In APA 7, there are now explicit rules on having double line spacing for the notes at the top and the notes at the bottom of the table. For the content of the table, you have three choices. You can use single line spacing, double line spacing, or 1.5 line spacing. It's nice to have choices. The sixth change is cells with more than one line. In APA 6, you would write them with a left orientation. In APA 7, only the first line is all the way to the left. After that, you will indent the following lines. This is much like the hanging indent that we use on the references page for our citations. The last change is long or wide tables. For a long table, there was an example in APA 6. In APA 7, the rule is made explicit. For long tables, repeat the table heading on the next page. You do not repeat the table number or the table title. If you have a table that is too wide, use landscape orientation for that page. If that is not enough, you may use multiple pages. Repeat the first column on each additional page. If it is both too long and too wide, then you will have to change your table. You may have a long table, or a wide table, but the table cannot be both long and wide. If this video has been helpful, give us a like below the video. If there are other changes to tables that you feel should be included, please leave them in the comments below. For more changes in APA 7, check out our YouTube channel and the APA playlist.